Meet the Six Pack Superstars, where sacrifice means nothing. <laughs> okay, you motherfuckers, you call this a warm up? <laughs> And winning <sighs> means everything. You, you can't obviously love us if you want to go and compete in a competition. You know how much it is. To win, you have to work hard. We assembly! It's the guy holding the trophy at the end of the day that counts. I don't know how I'm going to do it on stage, mate. I have like this alter ego that like Beyonce freaking knows and I'm just like, come at me. In a world where eating right, looking the best, and more hits means more cash. These are the six pack superstars. We're in Birmingham for the Physical Culture Association finals and the big showdown between two time champion bodybuilder Mikel and five time champion Guy. I'll just pump up, eat a little bit, tiny bit more, glaze again, then go on stage. I'm ready now. Tight. Win trophy. Go eat a load of food. Whilst Guy tops up his tan and devours a whole jar of peanut butter, rival Mikel doesn't seem too worried. Ah, leave it out, mate. Wait, wait to see how much money I'm doing. You ready, yeah? Yeah? Game time. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be happy in the second place, George. What's that shield? Nah. <laughs> Silver yeah. shield. Silver yeah. shield. <laughs> You got me on some, I got you on some. You can see what they want. I turn around, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do that? Yeah. So way crazy. Of course we've got glutes. Hamstrings, the lot shredded. Of course it. <laughs> oh, it's going to be tense. Around four years ago, I was really unhappy. I was depressed, overweight. I suddenly decided, you know what? Like, let's do it. Like, I want to see how far I can actually push my body. Meet Bryony an aspiring bikini and fitness model with huge potential. She's in training for the upcoming Pro Elite and Miami Pro competitions. I'm beyond happy. I'm in control of my life. If I want to change something, I can change it regardless of what gets chucked my way. Bryony hasn't always been so confident. There was a time when you wouldn't even let us take a picture of you. you That's why there's like hardly now, no pictures of me when I was big. Because I was like a ninja. Practically naked pictures everywhere. <laughs> What triggered the sudden change? Being really depressed. And it was like I was crying, going out, drinking, and just not going anywhere. Everything was going wrong. Mm. I never thought that I would ever be happy with mm. myself. She's worked so hard to achieve it. And you know, she has had some real knocks, real knocks. And to come up the way she has and fight back, yeah, we're really proud. Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> I knew I'd do that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we're really proud. Bryony has come to meet fellow posing class pal, Amy. Amy! Aspiring bikini model Amy struggled to balance her responsibilities as Audrey's personal assistant and training for the upcoming Pro Elite Comp. Now I'm like, well, what do I do on actual show day? Because you want me to work for you. I, I can't if I'm going to compete. I don't know what to do. You can do it. You just need to get your focus back. Did you know that Audrey wants me to carry on being her PA at the competitions that I'm competed in? No. No. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's going to be a yeah, lot. Yeah, and I was like, I told her at the start of the year that these are the comps that I'm planning on doing. And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah. we'll talk about it near the time. And I thought, that means cool find something else, we'll yeah, sort it out later. Yeah. And then she told me, no, like I have to do both. I don't want competing to sacrifice my work with Audrey. Like I want to do well for her, Yeah. but I just, I don't know, that's, I, I feel think like that's I'm the stuck. Hard part. <laughs> in, in every job, like competing, it becomes your main focus. Like yeah. it, it's very selfish in some ways competing because you know, you've got to dedicate yourself to it. Part of me is like, what's the point in putting myself through the stress of competing and then working for Audrey when, if I'm not going to do well? You need to have more confidence in yourself. Like, really trust the process and like, you'll, you'll do well regardless. Don't you. stress, okay? Hello. Your bitches, I'm coming for you. Over at her London studio, posing coach Audrey is working with her most successful Ooh. students. Hold two. Boom! 
I do love working with James. He's the biggest thing in the industry. I made him, of course. If it wasn't for me, he wouldn't be the biggest thing. And hands come down, boom. The first routine I gave him in 2012 revolutionized posing. It made him famous. Step, step, and we're out of there. So I'm known as like the guy that does well at everything that he does. Meet James. A champion pro fitness competitor, he's the guy that does well at everything he does. And now bring the right one, sorry, left one down. He's also the UK's first ever muscle model champion. Two, three, here, boom! According to Audrey, it's all thanks to her. He doesn't have the ability to give himself a routine. He just gives, every routine I gave to him is what his students the year next will be doing. I'm the genius, I'm the master, I'm the mama. He has to come back to mama for the routine. You're momentarily in a bicep, and then you're going to drop it down. She's one of the best around at the end of the day. You can't take that away from her. Every time I've worked with Audrey, she always gives me something completely unique and completely challenging, and then um, I can nick her ideas for my clients. <laughs> That's right, Audrey's model student is turning coach and their clients will soon be going head to head. So how many clients do you have in Miami Pro? Um, I've got uh, three this weekend, mm -hmm. um, which is quite a low number. I usually have a few more. But, um, I have 25. Yeah, I know, I just can't seem to get any posing clients these days. There's, someone's <laughs> taking all the business. Someone maybe had all the business to start with and someone else came in and took those three that should have been hers, but that's besides yeah. the point. Someone asked me the other like, who taught me how to pose? And I'm like, I invented the style of posing. I often think about doing my own routines before shows. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know, it's laughable. <laughs> but, you know, having somebody from outside to look in and um, someone that's got, like, a fair amount of experience. <laughs> Who could that be? Well, if you, yeah. Who? If I know someone like yeah, that. Yeah, can you I let me know? <laughs> Coming up, Mikel and Guy go muscle to muscle. That's it! Your shots, guys! Amy's finally come to a decision and has arranged to meet Audrey. So you wanted to meet today, is everything okay? I just wanted to basically talk to you because like, I think you're maybe a bit, I just don't feel I'm ready yet, so I want to take more time and make sure that when I get step on stage, like, I'm actually in a competitive condition. But I've decided not to compete. But that means I can work for Yay! you, so. Great decision um, overall and yeah. I'm relieved because we're going to have a really busy day at Pure Elite. It's going to be mayhem as always. And also, how much are you learning from the wings? You're seeing mistakes. Yeah. You're seeing the worst posers in the world as well. In my class, you don't yeah. see the worst posers in the world. Really, really bad ones. Yeah, yeah there's like, some really, really bad what ones do you up there. Are, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. They think that they look like Beyonce and they look like... You can see it in their eyes that they have no idea how bad they are. And oh, the yeah, judges great. are like... And we're like... We're like... <laughs> <laughs> It's the PCA Finals, and it's showtime. Mikel and Guy take centre stage. Squeeze them legs! With wags and coaches in tow. That's it! Your shots, guys! I'm straight! Good! Strong shot, Mikel. This is your shot. As they jostle for position, there's outstanding performances from both sides. Tight! Good, Mikel! Please turn and face the audience. They're in danger of swallowing their own trunks. There can only be one winner. The PCA champion is Mikel Rock. Mikel is crowned champion of the PCA finals. And Guy has to settle for second place. Fucking hell. Yeah, Having lost four stone for this competition, Mikel is shattered. I think you haven't got much energy. It was fun up there, so. I mean, Mikel did look good, so. If I'd have won that, I'd have been buzzed because it was like, it was so close, but. Classic! Hey, hey. Table for two, please. When you've starved yourself of food and water for the past 24 hours, there's only one way to celebrate. Okay, now we're really, really hungry. Yeah, we're really hungry. So, portion lamb chops, two portion lamb chops, chicken curry, three naan breads, boiled rice, 
a margarita pizza, lamb. And that's just for starters. That's it for now. We'll see what it looks like. I just want to eat. It's enough to feed a football team, but after weeks of stringent dieting, it's a good way to wind down. What's the best thing about being off prep now? Obviously the food. Mm. This is good. It's like a smooth velvet taste slithering across the tongue. <laughs> slithering? <laughs> What's it feel like when it goes down? It feels good. Better than sex. It will leave these lovebirds to it. <laughs> Fitness model Joel and bodybuilder Tom have come to a London gym to shoot a training video. It's really important that I put content out for YouTube. People who look up to you in the fitness industry, that's your way of talking to them. As world champions in their categories, other fitness fanatics are fascinated to know Tom and Joel's workout regime. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good session, yeah? You guys inspire me. Thank you so much. Obviously, I just want to give as much back to all my followers and people that follow me on social media and uh, give some tips on training. Yo, what's up guys? So today, we're here at my gym with my boy Tom Cole with me. Good. Good man. We're gonna show some exercises, show some tips. You ready, Tom? Right. Let's get into it, bro. Thanks, Come on. <laughs> Two more. When I'm starting to lift a bit heavier, I like to really focus on the negative, contra negative contraction. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it nice and slow on the way down and then explode on the way up. Videos like this can get thousands of hits and earn the boys wads of cash. <laughs> Shooting collabs is a great way to boost views because obviously all his fan base get, in, get involved and my fan base are engaged. So I think supporting each other in the fitness industry is such a big thing. So that's it guys. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe and get in touch with me and Tom also on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want to know. Get in touch with us. Any tips, just give us a shout. And uh, bro, till next time. Till next time, man. <laughs> with filming over the Boys Talk competition and women trouble. Congratulations, I'm so man, proud of you. Fucking... So you won the qualifier. Pressure was unreal. Yeah. Like, literally like. You must be on top of the world, bro. And then the invite to the, to the, to the finals. Yeah. yeah. And what about you? I've got my invite for the British finals, UK BFF. Uh, men's physique, so um, yeah, got the finals in October. Oh, God, you know, so like really against Anti. me doing, yeah, <laughs> anti competition. I mean, it's so difficult to work work her around it, but I wish you'd be a bit more understanding. But it's never going to happen. So for so, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she, she don't like, she don't like it. Do yeah, you know what I mean? it, but. Um, it? But yeah, man, um, the way I try and make up for it is I say to a little go on holiday before, go on holiday after, and... Um, <laughs> and Don't talk to me during. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> but for me, it's just keeping the balance is key. Um, but... Just keep taking a holiday, mate. Yeah. Just keep taking a holiday. <laughs> mate, it's costing too much treats. money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Winning the comps now, though, so it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> I only started competing last year, believe it or not. I've won the British title twice, so... My body's been under a lot of stress in two years. Meet Mikael, an ex-con turned world champion bodybuilder competing in the upcoming British finals. I would say genetically I'm gifted, but to win you have to work hard, so I've worked very hard for each show. For Mikael, working hard wasn't always a priority. This specific location takes me back. Just across there is a youth centre where I first started community service around about the age of 13. That's when I first started getting into trouble. The trouble that I got into escalated quite a lot. I got into an altercation in town and then I ended up um, stabbing him after he pulled a knife out on me. So at 18, I got sent down for 12 years. I'm very remorseful, very sorry for a lot of other stuff I've done. I do actually believe that fitness did save my life, bodybuilding itself. I ended up spending more time at the gym and the people who I now have things in common with obviously are not from that criminal world at all. With the British finals only a few weeks away, Mikhail's met up with posing coach Adrian to work on his technique. You like this? <sighs> Boom. Do it. That's it. I'm actually proof that you can change your life and no matter where you're coming from, no matter how hard it is, you can actually, no matter how bad it gets, you can actually do positive stuff. Keep them hamstrings tight. Bring your elbows a tiny bit forward. Your elbows, your elbows. <laughs> That's better. So maybe up a little bit. Meet Guy, a 
five-time bodybuilding champion, determined to steal Mikel's crown. Well, I don't think I can lose. If I'm at my 100%, I don't think anyone can beat me. My main rival, Mikel, he's looking really good. Mikel is looking really good, and he's bringing the best he's ever brought. But if I bring my best, I, I don't think he can, he can beat me. That's better. Back at the gym, Mikel's having a Kim Kardashian moment. <laughs> We're in a race tra a waist trainer. You probably see like burlesque women in them and stuff. For me personally, the main reason why I wear it is because I've got very bad posture. And because I arch my back, it means that my stomach sticks out. And now my stomach's used to being contracted. And I pulled in, I should say, for you know eight to ten hours a day. When I take the waist trainer off, everything just sits nice and flat. Um, but I won't wear it in the off season, I only wear it coming up to a competition. Coming up, rivalry heats up between Guy and Mikel. He just looks small in my eyes. He looks like he's holding on to quite a bit of fat, especially around his stomach. And Sophie's finally had enough. Joel, I don't love the fitness boy, I don't love him. Sophie, if I don't do this, I'm going to regret it. Girlfriend Bethany is helping Mikel get ready for the British finals. So should we devise a plan for the next few days then? Yeah. And when you're about to go to war, it's important to keep a close eye on your enemy. Now he's done all those shows as well, his legs have started to go. His legs are his weak thing anyway. And now they're just worse. Now they're just worse. He just looks small in my eyes. He looks like he's holding on to quite a bit of fat, especially around his stomach. His abs are there, but there's like a layer on top of them. Yeah. Hamstrings are non-existent, no quads are non-existent. From the front, I think it could be quite close, but then obviously when I turn around from the back, I, I can't be beaten. I don't want to be a shit guy, I want to be a good guy, but do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, you want that competition. I want to beat him on, on a good day. He is good, he's a British champion for a reason. Yeah. I just think if I bring my 100%, it's, he had to have brought something extra and I don't think he's going to have brought it. Yeah. I've got it. It's my show, 100%. Joel arrives at the gym and he's already feeling pumped. My DJ touring is starting to quiet down a little bit and I've had this big decision to make all summer and I've made it. I've qualified for the finals. I've worked my ass off to get that qualification and it's just not in my nature to let that sort of opportunity go. I'm just ready, my head's in the right space and it's game time. Now all Joel needs to do is tell Sophie. Joel's rang us this morning and he said that he wants to meet me at the gym. There could be a few things that Joel could want to tell us. The worst things I would imagine would be if he didn't want to be with us again or him doing a competition. What is going on? You know, I've been thinking about the British finals all summer yeah. long. And I have come to a decision. Don't come to a decision, hear me out. I'm going to do them. Do you know what that does to us? For three years we've been through this, all right? And we always make it free. And I can't and do it anymore. You can. Three years I've done it, you, you expect us to do it and, and more. Listen, I love you, yeah? I, but I love obviously you, you don't and love I want, us. I want because you, you can't love no. someone. Like you, would, you, would, you, you can't obviously love us if you want to go and compete in a competition because you know that. You know how much it is. So. This is all you can't do it with. Sophie, I will you can't do, do this to us. To keep our relationship as good as it is right now. And I promise you, but I will. Joel, I, need your, I need your support with this. I want you in my corner. Right, I don't want you, want you to do it I don't want it to break us up, Sophie. But, but it I, is I can't gonna break not, us I up. I can't not do something. I just get so lonely when you do prep. But as my girlfriend, you're meant to love me, right? But you I need do to support love you, my dreams and my I love, passion. I, I've worked so hard. I love you. I don't love Joel, I don't love the fitness boy. I don't love him. Sophie, if I don't do this, I'm going to regret it. And I'm... I don't know if I want this anymore. I just can't do it. I'm sick of it. Sophie, don't go. Sophie.